Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and I am so excited because we are starting to get into those fall Halloween projects. So what is more better than having an amazing fall mug to go with that fall weather? So I don't know if you guys are like me and you guys are huge coffee fans or even if you guys like to drink your hot cocoa or warm teas or whatever it may be, um, you guys are going to love of these designs so this right here is a couple of those designs I'll kind of bring it up here so hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better so this is a couple of the designs just two of them how cute is this Highland cow it's so awesome too because in the sunglasses it looks like leaves um, I just love it so cute something like this on a mug would be perfect for dad grandpa anybody really but I really like this I think this is um, anybody really i could i think it could be guy girl whatever even the highland cow i'm obsessed with highland cow so um i hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial so this one right here these designs came out of a bundle um and this bundle is super duper affordable i have it linked down below for you guys it's just a few bucks um and you guys are going to be able to not only make coffee mugs with these you could make t-shirts sweatshirts so you can use sublimation um you guys could make stickers with these you could do the printable um ink jet vinyl if you wanted to or inkjet htv um caesar easy subly put these on toe pads you name it the list goes on i just love these designs so um lots and lots to choose from so here is one so the really cool thing about this project is i'm going to be using the cricut mug press so what i love about the cricut mug press is you can get two different size mugs in there so they have a 12 ounce as well as the 15 ounce now their 12 ounce is the same as an 11 ounce um, standard mug if you will um but they're they have a one more ounce in there but you can still fit the standard 11 ounce mugs in here. So you don't have to just stick to the Cricut brand. You could definitely venture out and find whatever brand that you love or find more affordable. As long as it's made for sublimation, um, you can fit those two sizes in here. So 12 ounce and 15 ounce. So this one right here is the 12 ounce, like I said, and then this one is the 15 ounce, and that's what I'm going to do today. So you guys can see a little bit of that difference here. What's really awesome too is you don't have to just anything so if i'm working with the 12 ounce or the 15 i don't have to adjust anything tighten anything up loosen anything all you have to do is pull it down and it's ready to go so when you first turn this on if you guys are new to the cricut mug press you're going to turn it on you are going to wait until you get a green light like this hopefully you guys can see that so once you get that green light it's ready to go and then when we put this in here and we press go it's going to have five flashing lights so every light is one minute so this is five minutes for you so every time it hits that minute mark it will go over to the next light so what i love about this going into those features is as you can see here i'm not having to set the time or the temp or any of that stuff it's just ready to go so i really think this is user friendly for anybody i do think it is affordable to get into making coffee mugs as well um, especially if you're just somebody that's a crafter even you can do this for a business i mean i really do think it's a good product um, but these are perfect for making our fall halloween christmas mugs so if you guys are wanting to start a small business or make them for yourself or gift them to a friend highly recommend this project all right so going over a few supplies that i'm using today number one i use my sawgrass sg i actually use the sg 1000 but all you need is the sawgrass sg 500 i used canva and what i did was i took these images into canva i sized them down to figure out your measurements you're simply going to take a tape measure i like using these sewing rulers here and then you're simply going to go ahead and take your mug and then you're just going to measure. So I know that four inches is as wide as I wanna go. And I know that if I go with my height, I also don't wanna go probably no more higher than three to 3.75. So that is how you're gonna find that measurement. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to bring those into Canva. I set my canvas at 8.5 by 11, and then I'll bring them in and I'll size them down. So you can fit quite a bit on one sheet. You'll save it and then I drag and drop it into my Sawgrass smart folder on my desktop. So if you guys have an Epson, you can definitely do the exact same thing. If you guys are a Gold Plus member, you can use our program Designscape to also do the same thing. So I've done that already. So as you can see here, 
I've already got a few different prints going on here and I've already cut them down to size. So I use True Picks Classic for my paper. All the supplies I'm using today are linked down below. You may want to get yourself some heat gloves. These ones are from Amazon. They're only $6. Um, you guys normally see me using those We Are Memory Keeper and they're like a teal color. These are identical. So they're $6 on Amazon. And a lot of times you can even get the heat tape with them for the same price. So I've got some heat tape, a little tape dispenser here, and I'm also using my Cricut pad. So that way I have something that's heat resistant. Now, if you have a granite countertop or something that can withstand the heat, you're good to go, but protect your surface and get yourself some sort of, even if it's those coasters that you have for your pans in the kitchen, anything really, right? So I've got that pair of scissors for my paper or paper trimmer. And then you wanna make sure that you have already cleaned off your mug. I can always just take this because I did not prepare myself with something, but you wanna clean it with a lint, um, a lint-free cloth, if you will. So what I like to always do is save those little um, lint-free cloths that you get with um, putting your cell phone cases. I throw them all in my craft space. All right, so we're ready. This has beeped, we're good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the two designs we're using today. So we're gonna drop you guys down here and we're gonna prop this guy up for a second. So I'm going to be using this one right here, this girl, and so you can see the leopard print and you can see the leaves in her hair tie. I really love the watercolor effect on this one. And then I have the pumpkin spice everything. It is so cute. So I just thought these two would pair very well together. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these. All right, and I may need to trim this down just a little bit more, as well as this one. So you just need enough space to where you can tape them down, all right? There we have it. And then before I have that hold it for me, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get out my four pieces of tape, and I just stick them right here on my heat press or my table and things like that. You just need a couple pieces of tape, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our first design. I'm gonna get that tape dispenser once again to prop that up here. Now, before I get started, you also wanna pay attention. If you drink your coffee in this cup, in this hand, you want your main design to go on this side. If you drink with your left hand, you're gonna want it to go on this side of the mug. So always keep that in mind as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the, um, the girl right here. I'm gonna put that on the front. So I'm gonna take two pieces of tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and center this up here on my mug. Tape down one side, and then you wanna pull nice and tight, and we're gonna tape down the next side. So you should have something that looks like this. You shouldn't have any gaps underneath, or top or bottom. And now we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna do the opposite direction here. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna center it up here. All right, just making sure everything's nice and straight pulling nice and tight so that way I don't have any gaps or anything around. Now we're ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this down into our mug press just like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and close it. So this is gonna go ahead and work for us. Like I said, so five minutes, we've already got our first light. So it's gonna start flashing for an entire minute and then it's gonna go all the way across. So. I really do enjoy this, like I said. And also, as we are gearing up and getting towards the holiday season, if you guys are looking for a great gift to purchase for somebody, or maybe even put on yours, I would highly recommend this. Now, I also, if you're buying for somebody, something that you might also consider is possibly um, purchasing them. Maybe the membership for design bundles would be great. So maybe you guys could go ahead and subscribe for mom or your wife or whatever it may be um, for that crafter in your life. That would be great great to um, join our plus membership. We have three different tiers to choose from, or maybe even um, just purchasing some of our bundles and that way they can already have some designs to play with for this. Cause like I said, we've got some great stuff going on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and we'll be right back. All right, so we just got the beep from our Cricut mug press. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that open and pull it out. Now with a Cricut mug press or any mug press, your handle should stay cool to the touch, but you may wanna test it first with your heat glove and use that as well. And then you may wanna go ahead and use the heat gloves to peel off your paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because remember this cup is 400 degrees. So two things you could do, you could pull it out, cause like I said, your handle does stay cool to the touch and set it down on your heat protected surface there and then just let it completely cool down before you peel. Or get yourself some heat gloves, like I said, and then we're gonna get ready to peel it. So let's go ahead and peel this off here. So we'll get one 
And then we'll get the other, oh my gosh, so stinking cute. So check that out so far. I love those colors, so vibrant. I love this bundle. I just think it is such a cute one for fall. Once again, you could also put these on some, like a cell phone case as well. Anything you can sublimate really. There we have it. How stinking cute is this? I love it. So cute. Those colors are everything. And there you guys have it. You see I've made two different styles using four of the designs that were included in this bundle. So cute. It's going to make the perfect coffee mug this season, whether it's for you or a gift for somebody, or you're going to sell them in your shop. So definitely make sure you guys check this one out. Such an easy, quick, beginner friendly project as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.